So a woman called me. She said, uh, she, I'm 50 years old. I have three degrees. I'm very successful entrepreneur, CEO. And I want you to know, Dennis, that、um, I deeply regret that I followed the feminist advice at college. Because when I come home after a successful day at work to an empty home, no husband, no children, no family, it's not good. I'm sitting here with just this horrible realization. I have spent most of my days figuring out how I can become physically, mentally, financially, spiritually healthy enough. To be able to afford and take care of a child. And not only have I taken that time, but I've done the math and it, it does not work out. I am not young enough or fertile enough or financially stable enough to even do another round of IVF. And at 36, like, I'm sorry, like, you're gonna say, like, you have time, like, I don't. Because I can't spend another minute of my life trying to make something work when I'm just fighting upstream. I don't have a support system. I don't have the money. I don't have the resources or the community. And it just kills me. It kills me that I had embryos with my ex husband that were viable. And they're just gone now. And my future, my future with those children and my life as a mother is just, it's gone. And it's not just that it's gone, it's the fact that it was decided for me by so many other people and factors. And that's what kills me. Because it was not my choice. And I'm angry. And I'm heartbroken. Modern women made a mistake. And that mistake was believing the lies of feminism. Under the toxic ideology of modern feminism, legions of women marched into the office determined to beat men and become boss babes. Women said they didn't want to be mothers anymore. Instead, they chose to work themselves to death climbing the corporate ladder instead of chilling at home. They said that serving their husband is misogynistic, so they chose to serve their boss at work instead. Because that makes sense, right? All along, men knew that women were walking into a trap. But you can't expect a woman to admit she was wrong, because we all know that never happens. We knew they were fed a lie and they would suffer for it later. Men didn't want that to happen, but then these women turned on men, attacking them, claiming they were being hateful misogynists. The brainwashing was so deep that it was too late. Since then, men have been watching for the moment when the wheels start to fall off and this toxic ideology starts falling to pieces. And now, that's finally started happening. More and more women are showing up on social media, expressing their deep regret at buying into the toxic feminist lies they were told. Because now, they're paying the price for it in a big way, and they know it. Modern women are paying a big price right now for falling for the trap of feminism. Hate to say we told you so. They refuse to listen to men. We weren't misogynists for offering criticism, but this is what so many modern women accuse us of. Hating women. And this is an easy way to avoid taking accountability and examining your own life choices. But in this video, I'm gonna break down the lies of feminism and why women are paying the price for it right now. They're regretting feminism in a big way, and it's obvious why. Feminism told women that they've been oppressed for thousands of years. It told women that men have been in power the whole time, and the reason for their suffering is because of men. This is the most toxic and hateful stance you could possibly take. It's a terrible misrepresentation of history and it's flat out wrong in every way. The majority of the most powerful people in history were indeed men. But that's not all men. It's not even some men. Right now, 
0.00059% of men are billionaires. That's such a small number that you can barely imagine it. So trying to convince half of the population that all men are oppressing women is insanity. The majority of men are struggling to survive. Why would we care about oppressing women? But by feeding them this lie, feminism told women that they need to be strong, independent boss babes to survive in a man's world and break free from oppression. And this is what modern women decided to do. They gave up their place in the home and went to work instead. So now, instead of chilling with the kids, they're working overtime in office jobs. Hooray for women, I guess. Now they're working harder than ever before. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but this is exactly what they asked for. The cat's out of the bag and there's no going back. Modern women want their Prince Charming to come and support the family while she sits at home, but this isn't happening. It's too late. Congratulations, ladies. You played yourselves. Maybe if you listened to men, you wouldn't be in this mess. Men know that taking responsibility is what keeps the wheels of society turning, but it's not a luxury. We don't take responsibility and do the difficult things because it's fun. We do it because it's necessary, but through toxic feminism, women have been forced to take more responsibility than they ever have before. They're in a position where they need to do everything at all times. They need to pay the bills, get the car repaired, cook dinner, take the kids to school, call the plumber to fix the sink and keep that apartment clean. They have to do this while working 40 plus hours a week for a boss who probably treats her worse than a loving husband would have done. Now ladies, please tell me how this is progress. Is this what you wanted? Because I guarantee you that this isn't the utopia that feminism promised you. And here you are. You're a slave. I hope you're enjoying it as much as you said you would. In a way, men are feeling validated because these women are now realizing firsthand what it's like to be a man. And women don't like it. Not one bit. But ladies, I thought this was an oppressive patriarchy and men had all the privileges in society. If that's the case, why isn't it easy? Maybe this is a sign that feminism is a ton of BS that screwed you over to appease the egos of a few angry women that started it. And there's one nuclear level way feminism doomed women to a life of misery. Let me explain. Feminism told women that they could have it all without any of the responsibility, effort, or accountability. They could bang whoever they wanted because her body, her choice, right? They could also have a thriving career because women are strong, independent boss babes in a world where men aren't needed. They basically told women that they should be better men than the actual men. This created an entire generation of women who suddenly became hyper-focused on their careers. Feminism saw this as a win, except it made one colossal fuck-up. It threw motherhood under the bus. Feminism completely failed to address the elephant in the room, that most women want to be mothers one day. But feminists didn't have an answer for that. To feminism, wanting to be a mother is to reduce yourself to being a baby maker. And men like that, so that's automatically a bad thing. It failed to help aspiring mothers be attractive to men they want. It completely ignored what men find attractive. I frankly do think that it is selfish you, yeah. of women who are of childbearing age and are able to do so, who choose not to have children. I, I do think that that's selfish. Why I mean, I I'm definitely girl boss and I get it, but at the same time, like, oh, you know what? I think we were sold this lie of like, yeah, do whatever men can do. Rise up the ranks and the corporate ladder and all that. And I'm like, well, why is everyone so unhappy? <laughs> like, it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, it creates a much bigger problem because yeah. we're facing a huge population decline that's absolutely rapidly declining. We will not continue on as a species in the way that we have known it so far if women continue to choose to just be boss babes all the time. Because feminism is a man-hating ideology. It didn't care what men wanted. Feminism said that what men find attractive doesn't matter because women aren't here to please men. Well done, ladies. Your bitterness and resentment towards your daddy created a shitstorm for other women. Here's what you did. This is how you may have doomed the entire Western world. You created a generation of women who are undateable and extremely unattractive to most men. Women who are argumentative, controlling, man-hating, and bitter. 
Yes, these women make more money, but men don't care and we never will. And no, for once, you can't point the finger at men. What men find attractive has been universally consistent since the dawn of time. It's you feminists who try to go against nature, rewrite history, and ignore basic biology. You've created a generation of women who are more like a group of the worst kind of men imaginable. And why would men want to date angry men? Men want women. Men have always wanted women. And you've erased real women from the culture. And now, we have a surge in lonely and miserable women. Single mothers in their 30s who got banged by Chad but can't find a providing man who will tolerate her for more than 5 minutes. There's a lonely women epidemic in the West now, and feminism created it. It's not the fault of men. We were calling bullshit from the very beginning. Ladies have only themselves to blame. So, I have a question. It's a big question. And it's for all you hot single guys. I want to know where you are. Because I can't find you. You're not in any coffee shop. You're not on most of the dating apps that I've been on before. And you're not hanging out with my mates. So where are you? Literally, tell me. Tell me your location. Because I have almost retired my vagina because I can't find a single guy that I find remotely attractive, funny, smart, intelligent, charming. Where are you? Do you all go and hibernate on some far off island somewhere else? Like for the summer and the winter and the autumn and like literally come out for like two weeks and oop, I miss you. Where are you? Come on. Like answers on a postcard, send Auburn's, send your location to me, and I'm coming. Literally coming. These women are trying everything. Some are even flying overseas in retaliation for the passport bro movement. And they're failing miserably because men in other countries don't want them either. Western women used to be in high demand, but now they're seen as the bottom of the barrel. This is exactly why men are running to other countries to find real women, because they aren't finding any in the West. Feminism and the government made it easier than ever for women to make bank. Because of the whole equal pay bullshit, women started getting paid crazy amounts to correct a wage gap that never existed. Now, there are countless women earning six figures. Hooray for women, but now they're coming face to face with their own hypergamous nature. They're quickly realizing that they don't want men who earn less than them. By becoming boss babes, they've priced themselves out of the dating market completely. And now, only 1% or less of men are attractive to her. This isn't the fault of men. This is the short-sightedness of women coming back to bite them in the ass. And another reason why so many women are single and lonely. There's a term that I like to call selective equality, which is the tendency of modern women to want the benefits of equality with none of the responsibility. And you see this in dating more than any other arena. Modern women want men to suppress their masculinity because it makes them feel safe. But 83% of women also expect men to approach them and make the first move. They want men to behave themselves, but they also want them to approach. How does that make sense? They also want the top tier man, high value man without considering what value she brings to the table. She wants everything while providing nothing. She wants to be an independent, strong boss babe but she still expects the man to pay $400 for a date. If she's expected to pay her half of the meal, suddenly the man is a weak, low value dude. She wants to be strong but she doesn't want to approach men because that's their job. Double standards like the ones I just described dominate modern society. It's one rule for women and another for men. This is why modern feminism is about power and control, not equality. Well ladies, here's why you regret feminism. Because men are playing your game. They aren't approaching you anymore. They aren't agreeing to pay for dates. They aren't helping you in the gym because you said men were creepy. You asked for equality and you're getting it. But modern women don't like it. 
They said they wanted equality, but what they really wanted is to be treated like princesses. And now they hate the fact that they're being treated fairly. You can be single and free and travel and hang out with your girls and live this amazing life. But the reality is, women have an expiration date in terms of having a family. Men don't. You guys could be 70 and birth a new family if you wanted to. Don't know why you would, but if you did, you could do that. But as women, we have a limited time frame. Um, I think it's like 28 or 30. So we only have this window. And when it passes, that's it. For years, women have enjoyed an advantage in the divorce courts. Marriage was the best scam in society. It was a total win-win for women and mostly a lose-lose for the men. A woman getting married went into the deal with no worries. For one simple reason. She has far less risk than the man. If they get divorced, the man loses everything. But the woman? She gets the kids and some fat monthly alimony payments. It worked out really well for the women most of the time. The man was even expected to pay for the wedding, regardless of how crazy expensive her tastes were. This was traditionally how it went down, and it favored the women. And because feminism loves racking up solid L's, it accidentally started screwing that up too. Now we're seeing a shift in the divorce courts. It's a slow change, but it's happening. Women are making more money and the courts are noticing that. More and more joint custody arrangements are being approved. And in the future, I expect that the whole man paying alimony thing may be the next on the chopping block. But in this gynocratic society, I'm not completely optimistic. Modern women had a way of making money from men and they completely ruined it for themselves. And I couldn't be happier about it. Modern women are regretting feminism in a big way, and this is only going to progressively get worse. Expect to see the wheels fall off big time as feminism is exposed as the manipulative and toxic ideology it has always been. As a man, here's what you need to do. Don't participate. Don't feed women the validation they're addicted to. Instead, give them their kryptonite. Accountability. Walk away quietly. Focus on yourself, and never be afraid to hold that mirror up to women. In a society full of simps, be the superior man who walks his own path. Be the man who goes his own way. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, Hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.